Hi, I'm Stu from Cyclist. Um, one thing that really frustrates me is when I see people riding around on really filthy drivetrains and then they say to me, oh, VM, yeah, I don't have time to clean my drivetrain. So I really wanted to do this video just to show you how simple it is to clean a drivetrain, even a really grubby one like I've got here on this BMC um, SLR01. Just a few simple products, a few simple techniques. You have your drivetrain cleaned in no time. Okay, so straight away, just running through what I'm using here. Uh, this is a really readily available chain cleaner. This one's a park tool one. I've got some water soluble drivetrain cleaner, degreaser, uh, a little bit of muck off, everyone should be aware of that product by now, and just a, a, a stiff scrubbing brush for the, the sprockets. And of course, I've got my old faithful bucket of soapy water and a sponge. Okay, so we're gonna do this video in real time so you can see how quick this is. You can see if Pete zooms in a little bit just how grubby the drivetrain of this PMC is. Been out on a few winter rides, pretty caked. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm just gonna pop some degreaser in the chain bath. I need to do this fast because it's freezing out here and I'm wearing a t-shirt, so. Okay, so you just set the desired amount of degreaser in the chain cleaner, as simple as that. Okay, I would make sure the chain's in the middle of the cassette for this bit, it's easy. I'd also put it in the uh, small chaining in actual fact, so I'm just gonna pop that down. Okay. The chain bath goes on the chain in this position here the top just simply clips into place like so so that's the position you're looking at to start at this point notice that I haven't got anything wet better to use the chain cleaner with uh, the chain exactly as it is don't get it wet with soapy water at this stage because it will affect how effectively the degreaser works so we're just going to start rotating the chain backwards holding on to the chain cleaner I normally do this for say a count of 30 or 40 pedal revolutions. Then we'll start having a look to see how the chain looks. If we look at this point, you can already see the, de the degrease is working its magic. Chain's already getting cleaner. If you wanna increase the, the cleaning effect at this point, that's where this chap comes in. Now's the time to just get busy, stick a little bit of, in this case it's muck off, bike spray, pop a little bit of that around the drivetrain as well. Can't do any harm and then carry on rotating through the degreaser. You need to top up at any point. This one's a really good design. It's got those little ports in the back. You can actually pour more chain cleaner into the device without taking it off. So that's really handy too. Let's keep going on that. Okay, um, whilst you've got the chain drivetrain in this state, it's a really good idea to drop that off. The leftover degreaser you've got in there is still perfectly usable. So I'd actually pour some onto the brush and the cassette at this point and use that and agitate that. Okay, you can use, even just hold the brush on while you rotate the pedals around. Simple techniques that really help for a fast drivetrain degreasing. Again, the other things, the jockey wheels, just get in there with the stiff brush, give those a good old scrub. Again, sorry Pete, just move that, oops, try not to get the chain off. Then, yeah, even just use that on the jockey balls while you're rotating. Quick scrub around the chain ring sprockets. So, right now you can see it looks like a complete mess. And you think to yourself, oh my god, I've made it worse. In actual fact, whilst all that's doing its job, and this is where good old faithful hot soapy water comes in. That's the importance of using the right type of degreaser because with a water soluble degreaser, this will now flush all that grime away. And you'll see how quickly this drivetrain goes from really grubby to actually really quite clean. Just literally in a matter of minutes, you've gone from having a really dirty bike. Again, you're not using the pressure of a hose pipe or anything. So in terms of bearing life, is a really good way of cleaning things. You're not blasting it with a jet wash. You're literally using the power of the product just to keep things nice and clean. Pretty much done. Now at this point, I'd just say you want to rinse. Now, you could rinse with a, a very low pressure hose at this stage. All I've got here is just a water bowl filled with some plain water. If you haven't got a hose pipe at home, this shows you don't need one. 
rinse the chain, you want to flush out all that filth, anything that's left over. Obviously, we're just focusing on the drivetrain right now. If I was cleaning the whole bike, I'd take a bit longer. But I'm pretty much done. If I let Pete show you how clean that chain is now, gleaming. You can feel how much smoother, how much cleaner that whole drivetrain runs now without all the grime. All you've got to do at this stage really dry the chain thoroughly and then apply some uh, some appropriate chain lube, whether that's wet lube, dry lube. Simple as that. I don't know how many minutes that video was, but I'd say most people can find time in their lives to spend two or three minutes cleaning a drivetrain like that. Save you a heap of money in the long run.